Hey there, fellows. It's been quite a while since we've experimented with Coca-Cola. You might have even forgotten we did. Now, we've done a fair share of videos about weird tire inflation methods. And so this time, why don't we try it using Coca-Cola and Mentos? As we all know, mixing those generates a ton of carbon dioxide. And we want to find out whether it's possible for that rapid release of gases to seed a tire. We'll try and find out using this wheel. We'll begin, of course, by unseating the tire on just one side. Then we stuff in some Mentos, pour in some cola, and see if the gas is released quick enough for the tire to seed itself. Let's do this. Can you inflate a tire with Coca-Cola and Mentos? Originally uploaded in January of 2020, translation and voiceover by BMI Russian. All right, so we take... One pack might not be enough. We should get some more. We have plenty to spare. Oh, nice, it's going all over the place. We don't want them all in one spot. Very nice. And we got four bottles of cola. I can't pour these all by myself. We've decided to gather round, the four of us. Now it's a matter of opening the bottles and... Uh, let's not get ahead of ourselves. Some of us are taking more time than others. Is anything happening? Doesn't seem to be. Or maybe... Nope. Does this even work that way? Now before we continue, let's do a test run. Well, yeah, something does happen. Though two pills ain't enough for such a bottle. Okay, so that didn't work. Let's try it the other way around. We'll pour the cola in first this time. And then quickly drop a bunch of Mentos in there somehow. It does appear to be easier to do that as opposed to quickly pouring in the cola. And from there, hopefully the gas is released quick enough to seat the tire. I'm sure it will be. Let's give this a try. Let's go. Don't move it around. Well? Okay, fellows, so our attempts to seat the tire using this method, regardless of whether we start with the Mentos or the Coca-Cola, don't seem to be getting us anywhere. The gases aren't being released as quickly as we'd like. But we have thought of another thing we could do. The tire is seated, and we're going to try to inflate it now. This shouldn't be too hard. We've removed the valve, fitted a hose, and over here we've got an adapter that should be a nice tight fit for the Coca-Cola bottle. Time for a death-defying feat. <laughs> We're flying to the moon. Anyway, so we throw some Mentos into the cola, connect this to the bottle as fast as we can, and look on to see what happens. Let's do this. Dude, you won't drop them in fast enough. Oh yeah, watch me. What is wrong with you? And you said I couldn't do it. Let me hold that for you. All right, we are getting there. Is the pressure increasing? Oh, it really is. Next bottle. Let's go. Hold it. Come on. Some Coca-Cola fireworks in the house. Let's get the next one. See how well that worked? There we go. Yeah, I'm ready. Oh yeah, that is going well. Wow, the pressure is rising. You ready? Oh, nice. Yeah, you can shake it up. Hopefully this doesn't pop off. Well, of course we'll find out. That didn't go well. Do we want to keep going? 
I think that might be enough. We should check the pressure. You can actually drive on this. You most certainly can. How much is that? 0.5 atmospheres. So we're at about 0.5? Can you actually drive on that? Slowly, sure. You might be able to get away with it. All right, so at least we were able to inflate the tire using this method. I mean, it is a far cry from the recommended 1.5 to 2, but at least we got to half an atmosphere. The wheel itself feels pretty hard. You can even drive on such a wheel with this amount of pressure. Okay, so while we were at it, we got a visit from a buddy of ours who showed us a video, and now we are very curious to see what happens if we try something else? Okay, so we've loaded in the Mentos. Now let's put some air into the tire. And have a look at... I mean, take a listen. Oh, come on. There we go. Nice. This is a nice little rattle. Now let's fit this hose. Nice. Now we just have to connect it to this bottle. And we're ready. The pressure right now is such that you can barely even squeeze the bottle. Right, well, let's disconnect this one and grab another one. There we are. That was the last one. How many liters is that? A lot. Now we reinstall the valve. There we are. Nothing happening so far. Okay, let's give it a spin. Come on, react. I'm sure we'll see something. Nothing yet. Okay, fellows, I've been at this for 10 minutes. And I suspect that the Mentos have dissolved by now. The wheel... was barely even inflated. I thought I heard some bubbling in there, but it's actually flat. Like, no pressure in there. So yeah, this system doesn't work. So while you're feeding fresh Coca-Cola, some gas does form. But once the reaction is over, there is no gas being released. That's despite me having poured in quite a lot of cola. Eight and a half liters of cola, a bunch of Mentos, and nothing really happened. So what have we learned from today's experiment? At first we stuffed in Mentos and then poured in the cola to seat the tire and failed. Then we tried it the other way around. First cola and then Mentos. That didn't do it either. Then we fed it from a bottle through a hose, in which case we needed to hold on real tight. Well, and that actually worked. We were at least able to get the pressure up to 0.5 atmospheres. While we were doing that, one of the boys got his phone out and showed us, like, this is how it's actually done. We tried. It didn't work out. Feel free to try it yourselves if you don't believe me. It's something anybody can do if they want to have a bit of fun. And so, yeah. So, as you just saw, only one of the methods we tried for inflating a tire with cola and Mentos actually worked. Well, and that's all I got for you. Watch us, subscribe, send in your suggestions, comment, give us a big thumbs up. All right, catch you later.